We are at Ndwabangeni. Ndwabangeni is one of those places which water here is very, 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 very scarce. The community has been drinking, fetching water where donkeys go and, and, and drink there. So this to get some diseases, you know, you know things like that. Firstly, in Dwabangeni in Swaziland is a very remote, very dry part of Swaziland. The boreholes there are few and far between. Those that do have water don't have a lot of water. We had a very serious problem. Our kids were not getting healthy water. Therefore, we were in a danger of getting a lot of diseases. Currently, the kingdom is currently facing challenges of a shortage of water supply, which is, that has got a link with the, the increase of disease burden. As you know, that we've got the high rate of HIV, and when people are not getting a clean water supply, then the infection rate of other diseases, opportunistic infection, it increases. We have a large amount of people that rely on electrical based systems. Because they're linked to the grid, the breakdowns are normally very high. Any spike from SEB or a lightning strike or something along the line inadvertently damages the, either the electronics or the pump system. In the last 20 years or so, we've seen a, a real downfall in the income of those that are based in rural areas, so mainly because of the AIDS epidemic. So these systems were becoming ever more difficult for them to maintain and run. At the moment, we're looking at statistics in the region of about 60% of electrical-based rural water systems are dysfunctional. With this in mind, we started developing solar-based projects, a renewable energy-based water supply project, something that would address maintenance and running costs, give a reliable volume of water. This is one of the most exciting things that the foundation is doing for Africa through uh, the RAIN project uh, is ensure that uh, there's accessibility uh, to water and uh, using um, you know, very uh, modern technology that is based on solar power that uh, uh, the government of Swaziland is excited about and the communities are really excited about. Well, the solar panels are elevated about 9 to 11 meters. They're surrounded by palisade steel fencing. Their towers are filled with uh, reinforced concrete as well. We're looking at 275 million litres of water um, a year that's pumped on the system, which works out about 2.2 billion litres over a 10-year period. And if you work it out from a cost basis, that's a hundredth of a cent per litre. If you equate that to a, a monetary perspective, that's not money at all. We have made a commitment uh, working with uh, another room for Passionate Ministries International, Swaziland government uh, and Swazi communities. We've managed to actually come up with uh, a plan and a strategy that uh, will ensure that uh, more than 200,000 people in Swaziland have access to water and there will be 50 different sites. So now we are drinking this water which it makes us safe from getting diseases because this water we are drinking now is being treated. As a result, our school is one of the schools which have produced a good result. There's no failure here. All the, uh, the children have passed. In Dwabangeni is a, now supplying 22,500 litres of water to the system. There's about 8 to 10 standpipes. The school's getting water, the clinic's getting water, the church is getting water. The clinic now has a garden that they're starting as well. This is a huge um, you know, breakthrough for Swaziland in the sense that one of the key uh, issues affecting Swaziland is the HIV and AIDS epidemic. But another one is to ensure that uh, quality education uh, is actually um, attained by school-going children. Now, as they came to introduce the project, it was um, like a dream come true because one of our priority areas is poverty alleviation. The communities are thrilled to get um, fresh water, clean water for the first time. I also want to thank uh, Coca-Cola Foundation for the role they are playing, for their social responsibility. So now that we have the water uh, from you know, the clinic side, 
right. Yeah, we are more than happy. Now we are saved, really saved from uh, a situation of many years of suffering.